Hey guys, I'm gonna go over making my high performance brownie. Brownie. And what this does is it allows you to add a few additional calories from fat so that you can either um, decrease the amount of calorie deficit that you're in so that you can either slow down the rate of fat loss, which I know that sounds weird. Most people are not looking to do that, but if you need to relax the amount of calorie deficit for either performance reasons um, or simply because the rate of body fat is a uh, loss is happening at a much faster pace than anticipated, we can do it this way. And by doing it this way, it will make sure that you don't come out of a fat burning state because by default, fat will not pull you out of fat burn. So here's how we can add an additional 120, 130 calories or so um, into your um, brownie, brownie, or really any soft bake. But I'm gonna show you how I do it specifically using a couple of different um, choices of oils. And then of course, uh, a couple of different methods with my um, uh, containers, okay? Uh, some easy packing solutions and some how you're gonna eat them now type of solutions. So, all right, let's get busy. So we're gonna start out with um, three tablespoons of water. We're gonna do one in the cooking tray that it comes in. And I'm gonna do one in this uh, BP, BP safe, uh, microwavable plastic container. And I'll show you the reason why when it's all said and done. So I'm gonna add three tablespoons of water. One, two, and three. Now I'll add three to this one. One, two, and three. I'm exceptional at counting to three. Then we're going to add the brownie packet. Brownie. <laughs> okay, good. Like when you're on camera, you can't open these suckers, but I never have issues any other time. Okay, there you go. Open that sucker up. And I'm gonna mix one right in that plastic container. The other one, look at that. Put my mind to it and I opened it up much easier the second time. Okay, this one is going in here. I fully committed to opening that one. That's what happened, I fully committed to it. Now, I'm going to mix the brownie solution together. Pretty simple, just making sure there's no chunks in there. And since I added the water first, it's less likely that there's gonna be clumping on the bottom. All right, so there's one. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that into the microwave right now um, so we can save a little time. One minute, all right. Over here, gotta mix a little bit more carefully in the smaller container. All right, that is mixed up. There we go. The new one that's coming, I believe, has the cream cheese chocolate chips, or the cream cheese chips, instead of this one, which has the uh, chocolate chips in them. So that one should be hitting soon. I think you can place that order now for those. Anyway, mm, it's good just like that. It's good just like that. All right, now, this one's done. All right, so we're seeing that brownie. Mm, actually, it looks really good. So now, because this one I'm going to store, save for later, pack this along in a lunch bag, whatever, I'm going to use my coconut oil that is already measured out, one tablespoon. I'm just gonna put that right on top of the freshly microwaved brownie. And you don't have to spread it out or anything. I'm gonna put the cover on. I'm just gonna let it cool. And I tell you what, here's the cool thing. When that's ready, that will be melted right into the brownie. Um, you get your 14 grams of additional fat right there. Everything else stays the same. Um, the 11 grams of protein, the um, 15 grams of uh, carbohydrates. And I'll show you what I do with this one. And because I'm just using a brain octane, and um, here are a couple different options for this. Your brain octane or your MCT oil. 
Now, personally, the MCT oil bothers my stomach a little bit more than uh, the Brain Octane, so I, I tend to um, lean towards the Brain Octane. Um, MCT oil, I've heard that from a few other people. I don't know if it's the brand, but this brand I actually get at Costco. So, let's show you what this one looks like. All right, so we have our brownie and our Brain Octane. And one tablespoon, and I just put it right on top. And that's almost already soaked in. But now I'll actually let this cool for three to five minutes and then come back to it. And I tell you what, it is gonna be one of the most moist brownies you've ever had with a great um, flavor and consistency. Uh, texture on your tongue and everything else. So 14 grams of fat, 130 additional calories. So if I'm looking at moving myself away from a really severe calorie deficit, maybe I'm coming into a performance transition, maybe I'm just adding this in for additional uh, energy, whatever the case may be, that's how I do it. That's my high performance brownie to make sure that you can stay in a fat burn and then just continue to rock and roll and see your results. Have a great day guys. All right, so that's the high performance brownie with brownie. With the additional 130 calories coming from fat to ensure that you stay in a fat burn, so no additional carbohydrates or protein necessary in that one. And uh, that's gonna help with appetite control, it's gonna help with increased energy, and it's really going to um, allow my body to uh, continue to flourish in this lower calorie, high performance fat mode where I'm tapping in a stored body fat for energy and any dietary fat that's coming from additional uh, oils in order to make that happen. So, looks like it's almost ready to go. Um, gonna give it a couple more minutes and then this will be my fueling for the day. Well, one of them. Oh, I forgot to mention what that other container was for. Uh, in the event that I did wanna bake it in this, but actually pack it in this to use at another time, um, I can just go ahead and boom, lock it down and then I can pack it this way. And then once I'm done with this, I don't have to worry about even washing this because it's gonna stay clean. I can just toss the, uh, the baking dish and I'm good to go. So that's another way to be able to pack it along in the event that you want a warm bake instead of uh, bringing along a bar or uh, on the go uh, fueling of a different choice. All right, have a great day guys.